Yep, I'm back. It's been a while. Stick around. I am Davros and I am a Hoovian. So yeah, it's been a while since I last uploaded. That's because uh, I uh, all last week I was feeling crap because I had cold and everything. Uh, so I weren't really feeling up to much. But I'm back now and I thought I'd give you a, who re a well deserved Who review. And this time it is on Doctor Who and the Silurians. Uh, this is a serial from 1970, um, the second outing of John Pertwee's third Doctor, uh, with um, also um, Nick Courtney, Nicholas Courtney as the Brigadier, and it introduces us to the Silurians, who have been a recurring character during the Matt Smith and Peter Capaldi run. Uh, so... Um, Basically, there's some trouble going on in the caves, and um, the Doctor and Unit go and explore, and then the Doctor finds uh, that there's Silurians, Homo reptilia, and they're just like us, but they're reptiles, and they're the previous owners of the Earth, and was around during the Jurassic period, but they put themselves into cryostasis, and they got disturbed when the caves were being dug up. So, um, yeah, the Doctor manages to negotiate with them and make a peace treaty, but humans, they get scared, they attack. Next thing they unleash bio-warfare, the Doctor has to race against the clock to find a cure, all that stuff. So, yes, uh, let's get on to the likes and the dislikes about this one. First of all, I liked um, the story. It was written by Malcolm Hulk who didn't just give us the Silurians, but the Sea Devils. And also, I like to think of this as a, like, trilogy, kind of, because uh, I have got it up on that shelf there, beneath the Surface box set, uh, where with, um, you know, two serials from John Pertwee, the Silurians and the Sea Devils, and then one, si one serial from Peter Davison, where it's... The, like the Sea Devils and Silurians together. Uh, but we're talking about the Silurians for now. So, the Silurians. Um, so, yeah, I like the Silurians in this. I liked how dragon-like they looked and that, because they were meant to be reptile people. I also wondered how they had that whole shooting thing on their heads. Um, also, I wondered why they look so different to, the, to how they do now, because... It's like they look more greener, more reptilian, and more human-like. But, uh, as the Alumph Doctor explained it in The Hungry Earth, um, they're, a different brand, they're a different breed of the species. So we now know that there's different breeds of Silurian out there. Not too sure about Sea Devils yet, because they're yet to make a return. In fact, that's what I'd love to see in Jodie Whittaker's run, The Return of the Sea Devils, because I want to see what they'd be like. Um... So yeah, I liked um, you know how the Doctor befriended one Silurian. I can't remember his name now, but he uh, comes back in Worries of the Deep. But yeah, um, I like this serial how it was Earthbound and everything because during the third most of the third Doctor's run, he was Earthbound to Earth in exile and stuff. Um, so, what else did I like about this? Well, I like John Perry. I liked how this was his second outing. And, you know, how he was adjusting to Earth. Because he had to get a job. Work as unit scientific advisor. And because the TARDIS wasn't that much good to him. Uh, he decided to, 
make an earthly vehicle, and he did, Bessie. That's when he introduced his car, Bessie. We also had his companion, Liz Shaw, and we also had the Brigadier uh, in this, because they were his companions throughout his time on Earth. Um, yeah, John Pertwee, I yeah, liked him in this one, his performance. I like the dandy stuff he wore, the long cloak and everything. And how he just, um, you know, I mean, this serial, I think, was clearly black and white. I think that, because there are some parts where I can tell where they've been colorized and that. Uh, because it was 1970, not everyone had a colored telly. And they know they just started making Doctor Who in colour. We had the previous serial, um, the um, uh, Spearheads from Space. And they were, um, well, they were just, um, they were just giving it colour. So it was probably still adjusting to the colour. Uh, also, I remember once talking with a friend of mine who was like in his 60s, saying to him, talking to him about this episode once and he said that the bit he found scary was the pandemic outbreak the silurian disease he said it was scary to look at in black and white but then when he said he watched it on a friend's colored television set he saw he said he could see that that was just like bubble wrap painted green or whatever i don't know some of that wasn't that scary once it was in color this also had jeffrey palmer in it who later appeared in the uh, 2007 Christmas special, Voyager the Damned. I liked how, you know, and yeah, that was a good sequence and that. Um, well, not a good sequence, a good role. But of course, uh, his character get killed in it and that. Anyway, um, my dislikes. Uh, I don't really have any dislikes on this. I thought the serial was solid. It was a good story. A little slow in part one, you know, before they reveal the monster at the end, but, you know, other than that, I, you know, I enjoyed this whole serial, so, my final thoughts, uh, well, that's my final thoughts, my ratings, I'm going to give Doctor Who and the Silurians a, I'm going to give this a four out of five, so, yeah, let me know down in the comments below, have you seen this serial? Um, let me know what you think down in the comments below, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, please, and hit that notification bell. All my social media links are down below in the description. So, until next time, run for your life.